Hi, Morgan Kirk here again, Comscope SVP in charge of wireless. I'm going to speak to you today about how DAS works. For those of you that are familiar with the wireless industry, uh, there are a variety of ways of moving signals or providing signals in buildings. The most popular of which is what's called DAS, or Distributed Antenna Systems. Now a distributed antenna system can be, made, can be comprised of both active and passive components, and I'm going to take you through how these components work and what comprises an entire system. So imagine we have an infrastructure, a stadium or a building of some sort. I'll use a building as an example. That building needs some sort of, sig some sort of way of, of getting signals in and out of the building because whether it's metalized glass or just the concrete, these attenuate the signals from the outside and so cellular signals that might come from some tower on the outside reach the building and then they become much, much smaller as they go into the building. So some sort of dedicated system is needed inside the building. To cover a building with a DAS, you have a couple of ingredients. The first thing that you need is a base station or a repeater or some form of a signal source. So this is where you would have a base station. This base station, of course, is connected back to the core in some fashion. Now from this base station, typically you would have a piece of equipment that would be called a head-end piece of equipment in the form of a DAS. Head-end equipment is typically located with the uh, base station equipment. And then throughout the building, on various floors, you will have remote pieces of equipment. So this is a master unit, and this is a remote unit. These are generic terms. We ourselves call these different things, but generically, remote units and master units. Remote units are far in the field, master units are local. From the master unit to the remote unit, this is typically connected with fiber optic cable. And these fiber optic cables take the RF signals and move them out to the remotes. Now the master unit is connected to the base station by a coaxial piece of cable, and there are RF signals that get put in to the master unit. Now at the master unit, those signals are converted in whole into fiber, into light, and transported to the remote units. At the remote units, the reverse process takes place, and additional pieces of coaxial cable are taken with splitters and other devices out to a variety of antennas. The reason that it's called a distributed antenna system is you have a bunch of antennas that are all distributed. No surprise there. Okay, so the advantage of this type of system is you're able to take a very simple base station, which would be on a single location, and you're able to move it throughout the building so that each one of the users that are here, their cell phone, is very close to where the signals are coming. So instead of having a lot of signal loss from a single location, you have much lower power but much less signal loss. What that enables is a much better user experience. So the user is able to do higher speed, datas, uh, higher speed data and you're able to support a lot more users by doing this. And that's one basic uh, DAS architecture. There, there are other DAS architectures which use uh, different types of fiber and other DAS architectures that use different types of media like 75 ohm cable or like uh, twisted pair cabling to move these things around. But in general, that's how a DAS works. I'm Morgan Kirk, Comscope.